Come on, we're back. I was just thinking that we should actually be a touch careful and make sure we're prepared for anything in this fight. So, versatility is the name of the game. I don't see us needing the daggers, but let's have them anyway. Let's have... So, it could be skeletons, or it could be zombies, or it could be nachters, or it could be thugs. So, if it's skeletons, we want... We've only got one flail to get around the shields. But then, we could also have the hand axes and potentially go through them. We've also got this Siskal, who can break shields as well. Let's have the two groups, each with their own ways of getting through or around shields. We've got two axes here. We've even got a third axe over here. Everyone else has swords. Hmm. No, Ryoji, I am not going to get wrecked because of overconfidence. Not what's going to happen. That's exactly why I'm doing this. Being careful. And thoughtful. Everybody on the back line has a pike in case it's skeletons and then you can't fight with the ranged weaponry. I'd love to upgrade these short swords to at least falchions. Arming swords, but... Also, who has the falcon? Uh, Hugo. It should actually be the person with the highest initiative. Because they will go first, so that would be Edmund. Okay. Let's investigate Crypto the Elder. Be ready to run away, lads. This could be scary. So there's 15 of them, whatever they are. Ooh. That... Hmm. Could potentially be okay. One, two, three, four. So it's a mix of armored Vatigangers and normal Vatigangers and three geests. Uh, I reckon we can kill him. I mean, we're obviously not going to hit the geests with these ranged weapons, so let's go to Pikes. The falcon's amazing. I love the falcon. So in my experience, the way they handle these uh, geests is to... I wish I could have had spears, because they have like one hit point, but hitting them is damn impossible. The extra 10% to hit on the spear would have been good. Let's just wait, because I need everyone who has bows out just to change to pikes. And then we're gonna have to start. We're gonna have to start marching forward. Damn! I should have given Sigbold a sword instead of this wooden stick. Is this unnecessarily risky? Should we just back it up? We've got two sergeants who can raise morale. <sighs> Let's stand and fight. No guts, no glory. I mean, it's not a necromancer, so I think that that makes that makes all the difference. If there was a necromancer, this would be a, a very obvious runaway bravely situation. The big thing is, what are these ghosts going to do? They're just going to stand back and wait until we're engaged by all of these zombies. It's clever of them. Let's form up the ranks. You know, I shouldn't have actually changed to pikes in. I could have kept peppering the zombies as they came towards us, but I was expecting the geests. It's still the first round. Let's just have everybody just wait. Just see what the zombies do. I really want these ghosts to come towards us, but they're obviously not going to do it. Mm 
The thing is, the zombies actually aren't all that dangerous. They just become really dangerous if the ghosts make your guys flee. And then as your guys flee, the, the zombies get free shots. As does the ghost. It's a scary bit. Oh, that was actually a mistake. That was three quarters of his fatigue. Well, at least we're not spending fatigue on the other guys uh, as these zombies get closer and closer. And we can expect the, the ghosts to hit us on the next turn. I can't shake the feeling that I've made a huge mistake by taking this. <laughs> this fight. Yeah, here they come. Like at least we've, we, we've got a sergeant on, on both uh, each one of these groups, so we should be able to use ready the troops quite a lot. Oh! Would you have run away? On the next turn, I'm going to move forward and try to take these ghosts. Here they come. Oh, they're just going to start screaming from far away. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, yeah, we need to get forward and attack these ghosts as soon as we can. Very unlikely to hit, but you got to try. Swing off. Ah! Oh. You got. If you just go all out on these ghosts and hit them. Oh damn it! <laughs> Ouchie! Rip, Gerald. I've got soldiers who can attack that one and that one. <laughs> but yeah, this is bad. <laughs> anyway, I can get into range of that ghost. I don't think so, no. get into a spot where I can attack these bloody ghosts. Oh, and it failed. Urgh. Come on. Hildrick, one down, two to go. How can that not have worked? Oh. God damn it. Yeah, sick bomb is dead. There's only two squares away. Oh. The AI is not stupid. Love it.
How can I get shots onto these ghosts? Run all the way around. <laughs> uh, damn it. Well, you're clearly right. I mean, I should have done it here. Yeah, also, it wasn't worth it. I mean, because we, we still, we've got no idea, even if we get this successfully, that we, we've, we've got no idea what it is the reward will be. Oh, fucking zombie. Seriously, why is this not working? His freaking detail has like 82 resolve. And on two chances it didn't fucking work. God damn it. Ugh. There we go, he's back. Get over there. Oh no! Gerald is useless, good god. Actually, get him, doggy. Good luck. Oh! Give that dog a medal. <laughs> dog MVP. Oh! Yeah, Gerald's gonna go down, but he, he's the cripple, so not the end of the world. Ooh, everyone's dodging. <laughs> Finally, rally the work. Rally works. One of these guys can rally as well. Releasing the dogs on the first turn seems awfully expensive. Oh great, now we gotta fight him as a, as a feeding finger. I should run away. Hindsight is 2020, though. And again, the, the, the raise, raise the morale has not worked for us at all. So close here. If that one can just go down, that one can die. Well, we're closing in on this last ghost. I'm confident we can win. It's just going to really be costly. Oh, you <laughs> Rip Edmund Highland. I think he was the one who was wounded anyway, so. I just keep rationalizing all the losses. I just really wanted to, I wanted to raid all of these crypts. They're so cool. They got a little over-enthusiastic. Ghost. Just release 12 dogs. Where are you going to get money for for that? Huh? The fact that everyone is wavering and breaking, ugh, oh, really hurts the range, the melee skills. Sucks. It's 
help the dog out here. Seriously. Uh, I wish the dog would preferentially go for the more threatening bloody enemy. You know what? Step forward and wreck that fool. At least his attack value is quite low. We better not lose the two-handed axe. Uh, I'm worried that we might lose the two-handed axe. Which would actually be the, 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 the most devastating loss of this entire fight. Oh man, he was a two-handed expert as well. Ugh. Now Edmund's back as well. This is the worst. Have you to fight your own teammates again? Look. The orcs be zombified. That would be so scary. Ouch. Hit points. You know what? You can just take the day off, mate. Just chill. Well, we're gonna do it, but at a hell of a cost, unfortunately. Get him, Finch. Who's a good boy? Finch is a good boy, Finchy. Decapitated. Okay, thank God. It looks like we're still gonna get the axe there. Ow! I can't believe how crap Rally was. Rally used to be so good. I mean, for someone who's got 82 resolve, I can't believe he twice he tried to use the Rally ability and it failed. <laughs> One thing's for sure, our dog is MVP. We lost, uh, oh man, lost Everald, that sucks. The main thing is we got our long axe back and we didn't get anything, that was so not worth it. Not at all worth it. Welp, usually I can come straight back and pick up the spot of shield bearer. We just need to hire one more guy who can just be a pikeman at least. Yeah, under the circumstances I think we limited the, the damage, but oh, so not worth it. Okay, so we're not quite there yet to be able to do those kinds of uh, difficult fights. We just need someone who has at least a point in mini skill to be a pikeman. Shouldn't be that bad to find. 
Yeah, we need to give this dog all of the best treats. Finchy is a good boy. Who's a good boy? Finchy is a good boy. Yes. Uh, the problem is, we are really, really hurt. We need loads of medical supplies. We can't afford now. Actually pay to get these wounds treated. Um, these don't need to be treated. They're not too bad. Cut arm sinew has already been treated, thankfully. But what else is there, really? It's the exposed ribs. And he's still got plenty of fatigue, so that's fine. So we don't need to... Uh... Pay to get anybody healed up, and we've got already gear yeah, for a replacement person to act as a pikeman to take. Just an axe breaker. Uh, we've got plenty of tools. Wow, we're gonna lose most of our tools. Ducks. Let's get back into town, hire a replacement, uh, just heal for probably 24 hours, and we're gonna have to get out there, make some more money. Oh, I don't want to deal with that. His gear, maybe. I don't think I want to hire any beggars <laughs> or cripples. Try his gear. Come on, a star. It beautiful. And he's dexterous as well. And range defense is actually perfect because he's going to be on the back lines. Nice, as gear welcome. Couldn't have asked for a better, better battle brother. And he's with a star in ranged defense. He he he's going to be someone that I'm going to want to take quick hands and like bow. So like as the enemies approach, he can take some shots and then switch to his axe. I'm very pleased with that. That's that's a result. That is. Oh God! Some poachers, five of them. I do not want to fight these guys. What are they doing? Don't want them peppering my guys full of arrows. Just chill here. Although maybe in the city to the north. Yeah. That was scary. We do need some more food, unfortunately. We're going to have to do some selling of some junk. Some non-essentials need to get sold here. Did we lose the tailor, or do we have our tailor? No, we do have him still. Okay, good. Let's see. The whole wooden stick thing was shite. We're not going to use them. Don't need that, or any of that, or any of that, any of that. So, we need food. There's no food here, though. I think if we head up the road to Hoofschlag, we'll get some cheap food. And we need medical supplies. I think I remember why... Oh, good. But, infected wound. That little camp we cleared out, that, that crypt we cleared out, was actually one of the earlier missions we got to go clear it out, and then we turned it down. That's why we didn't get any uh, trade goods or any, you know, bonus gear out of it. Infected wound, I might well. He's in the back line, so... He's going to have so little hit points. 28 hit points. Wow. Uh, I think I'll treat the exposed ribs. Oof, I can't, no, I can't, I don't have the money. Well, we just better hope he doesn't take any arrows while we're doing some work. What is this? No, too difficult, three stars. Three skulls. No, too difficult, sorry. Uh, berries. And dried fruits. We've got loads of food. What can I get rid of? I don't need all these swords. We've already got swords on one, two, three, four of the lads. At most, we'd need two more. I 
Okay, let's, for goodness sake, let's just camp until the morning and then we'll set out and try to find some more work. Whew. Airy shit. So, what's our next ambition? Let's build up our numbers to 20. Mm -mm. Really carry any more equipment and spoils of war. Let's save up 7,500. Nope. Mow ourselves out of pocket. Ooh, that's interesting. Let's save up 7,500 to buy us a cart and leave our backs. That's interesting. Company is doing great. We just need to keep it up. I think for the moment, let's just not take an ambition. I, I can't see us doing any of these three. Um, Ulrich, are any of these are, are these ambitions uh, time sensitive? Because I'm pretty sure I'd be happy to take this seven and a half thousand one, but it's going to take ages to do it. If it's time sensitive, I'm just going to leave it for now. And also, if you choose no ambition, I assume you get the other ambitions again after like two weeks or something. Did anyone in chat tell me? I think that's how it works. I mean, I don't see us ever building up seven and a half thousand crowns. I need to spend that money to buy arms and armor. Getting up to 20 men is doable. Because mm. I've got those Highlanders. I really want to spend the money on buying them male hauberks and gigantic two-handed axes. There is no time now to cancel them anytime. Hmm. So what are we most likely to... I think we're most likely to get up to 20 men first. Let's take that. Good. We can actually do that, because then eventually I'm going to want... Because we've, we've got four archer types, so I'm going to need at least four guys who can fight on the front line. Because if we're fighting against, like, Necro Savants, all the archers will sit out. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we can hire someone like a historian who just sits in the back a um, flute player, what's a bard, can just sit in the back uh, a what's it, the, a peddler, we can keep a peddler in reserve how are we doing for hit points here, oh god, Gerald needs more time to heal up yeah We've got some, do we have a, ooh, I would like that farmer, but no, we can't afford to hire anybody now, we need to get some money in. I think there was work to be had down at Wickstead, but we'll stop at the other cities on the way in. I'd love to investigate some of these ruins, especially those, like these ones, uh, tend to be easier than these ones. But at least until Gerald is healed up fully. We can have a look. We can we can pop the falcon and see what's in there, and then just get out. Hang on, the trading caravan's being attacked. By what? By eight brigand raiders. God, that's that's a bit much for us right now. What's in that caravan? Just the caravan guard. <laughs> we could beat the raiders, but God, with Gerald being so hurt, he's not going to survive. And I mean, for goodness' sake, we actually have. Blotched Gamers on the front line on a level 3 guy. No, let's go do some level... some 1 skulls and maybe some 2 skulls. Certainly set ourselves back by taking that mission. Ooh, we need money. <laughs> we need money, lads. I mean, you could just buy eight beggars and cripples, but I mean, I would do that then if everyone's morale is, you know, like super, super low, and I just want the morale boost. Ooh, should we take down these poachers at night time? Wait till night time and take these guys down. boys give them the old run at hopefully when I get filled full of bloody arrows as the hound would say a woman's weapon coward
We are so gonna release the dogs. Although Deep Mom, maybe you should just hang back with your 28 hit points. If you get hit once, you are dead. Yeah, you better run. <clears throat> now it's... Who's got the dog? I think we can release the dog here. These two are taken care of, just the other ones. This is unusual, I've never actually had to run down a bunch of just poachers before. Let him sink bold. There we are, Deepma. So Raymond's got the dog. Beast the hounds. I think we can assume that this was a group that had thugs or raiders in it and then they just got killed by fighting something. boy. Don't hit my dog, you bastard. Animal cruelty. Oh, a wooden stick. Adorable. They change it up all the groups, it's not always just the same thing. Yeah, night time, archers will be fine. One, two, three, it's just these three left. Big as the shitty bows. Take care of them. Get him, Finch. One time, oh, he's off, he's away, he's away. I fought goblins the one time, I released the war dog, and this goblin just two shots the, the war dog with his bloody uh, armor piercing attack. Be risky. Are these cowards seriously gonna get away? Unacceptable. <laughs> Unacceptable. Ha <laughs> Good boy, Finchy. Oh, they're not leaving. Night time, you're fine. Drink and hit shit at night. Ooh, stove is hidden. Does he 
easily the best war dog I've ever had. Don't you hurt me. Yep. Oh, one more shot. Head smashed. Tiny bit of XP, better than nothing. Oh, nice! Look at that. Crown, some food. A pleasant little diversion, worth our time, I think. Uh, no one leveled up off of that. Oh no, hang on. Yeah, hard to find. Level up off of that. Let's see, melee skill. That's all the resolve he's gonna need. That's good on maximum. With 58, you know what, let's give him Colossus first up. Keep him alive. Dear old, you'll go Colossus on your next level. I should have given you Colossus on your first level. Being as weak as you are. God, we need work. Uh, to Julenwacht. Caravan guarding. How much are we talking? 800. Beautiful. And 200 in advance. Do it. This will be a nice little opportunity to get us healed up riding in a caravan. What could possibly go wrong? Hmm. I think carry yeah, your nets. In detail, you can actually carry a bow, mate, if you don't need to. But you're going to be stabbing someone with that accuracy all the time. And if you get cl in close into close, close quarter combat, you can always carry a shield. Uh, it's more likely that I'll get more out of you with the bow. Correct, that's that set up. This, that's fine. Fine, that's fine. So, oh, oopsie. This worries me though. Just oh, blush Gamerson. Stronger armor needs to be on the floor. We need some more armored zombies to stab and take their fancy armor. Need oh, five more sets of this worn chain. We have a drink and then set off. Cheers, everyone. Go guard this caravan. Off you go. Crack of dawn, we leave. So it's nice to get us back on the northern side of the map. That's that's where I want to be anyway. So we are neutral. Ha hang on, how did we get? Oh, I see, I see, I see. The ambition was to get to, to catch the attention of one of the noble houses, but to do that, you just have to get to very friendly with one of their cities. Okay. Some thugs, some poachers, a few raiders, and we've got just... Mm, that's going to be quite a tough fight. At least we can have the archer, archer advantage. Whew, goodness, that missed. Okay, they just got short bows. Yo, <laughs> that shield. We're going to be moving forward at least two squares. Okay, one square. I think they're coming at us. I don't mind. Don't mind at all. And they're exposing their archers. It's going to be nice to get archer uh, special. What's it? Bow specialist on our two bowmen. We can start making these shots. That's a scary weapon. That guy's going to be a bit of a problem. Only two raiders by the looks of things, which is encouraging.
I actually need Eskia to be in a space where he can break that guy's shield. Killing this raider is mostly on you, Sigvald. You've got that flail. <coughs> Hit. Iron shot. Mm. And then Gerald. I would say you spear wall. We've only got 48 fatigue. Rubbish. Hugo's gonna have to move. Need to get one more square closer. Mm -hmm. On the next turn. That's everyone? That's everyone. Oh, I love Falcons, they're great. Hmm. On off. You know what? Step up there. What's your melee defense? 34. Awesome. Go into repost. Wreck those fools. <laughs> Fine shot. 72. Oh, unlucky. Dietmar, I need you to come forward. But again, I'm worried about this square being open because this raider will go straight into there. There. Probably going to be smashing Hugo in the face. Probably this is the move. Ooh. Oh! Oh, that's four arrows that a fifth gives in his shield. Oh, that's so scary as they aim. Oh, come on, he's got a shield. Nice. It's the shield, unfortunately. <laughs> yes. Oh, get wrecked. Get wrecked. I love repost. What a skill. This is scary. We'll just ignore this guy because he's got repost and shield wall up. In fact, I'm going to shoot at the archers. Good hit. 53% chance. Ain't bad. Uh, try knock him back. Yes, I think that's where I want you. That's gonna let us move. You go back, so Asger comes in and breaks that shield. Oh, horrible shot. Hello, hello. Careful. Ooh, 28 hit points here. That's a problem. Yeah, on off, you need to kill that dude immediately. Chat. Hmm. Okay, we've got bigger problems over here now. This dude is priority number one. Ha <laughs> ha Edmund. Ah. I'm so grateful for the shields. Ouch! God damn it, that morning star hurts. Come on. Excellent shot. How can you miss that? You suck! I should push him away. Excellent. Get out of there. Hmm. 
Our shield, nerd. Eventually we'll just be able to get this guy down. It would be nice to be able to nick his armor. That that Lemelo armor is great, but that friggin' morning star of his is gonna do so much damage against Skizalia. <laughs> Evil maniac laugh. Ow! You know what? Let's get, I want this guy's armor. I want that armor. Just decided. How am I going to do that? We will throw a net on him and then stab him with daggers. Gotta kill this nerd first. There you go. <laughs> Um, no survivors. Ooh. Do you wait a second? Take us out, boys. Four left. Where are the other fours? I cut one, two, three. They're all scattered. Cowards. <laughs> Can I release the Falcon again? I don't think so. So there's one, two, three. I don't know where the, I don't know where the last guy is. We'll just see, we'll send the dog after them, but my worry is the dog will come after this guy, which I don't actually want. Maybe if we go far enough that way on the next turn, the dog won't go for this lad. Oh, awesome! We'll switch things to the follow buddy. Your mother was a hamster, your father's multi berries. Actually, heal yourself. That's gonna save you some of that bleeding damage. Five more hit points. Actually, you know what? It's only for one more round. It's fine. Who's carrying the dog? It's. No, Edmund's got the falcon, so someone else has the dog. Oh yes, it's Raymond. Oh, it's this guy, it's this brigand thug who was running for his life. See if the dog can catch him. I doubt he will be able to. Oh, get him! Go on, Finch. Good boy. We need to give this dog so many Scooby snacks. He's an absolute beast. I've actually got a Staffordshire Bull Terrier back home called Baron, who looks almost like that. He's black. He's the best dog in the world. He's the dumbest dog in the world, but he's also the best dog in the world. No survivors. Run him down. Is 
day. Um, it would be pretty cool if they could actually see what the stats are of the dogs and like rename them. <laughs> but I don't think I would should actually be looking for a mechanic where it lets me bond with the animal more. It's already freaking depressing when the dogs die. Ah, <laughs> oh, good shot, Hugo. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I want to hang on to a whole bunch of morning stars as well. So when I fight goblins and orcs, I want to use morning stars. I reckon that exhausting them is the way to go. Oh, we've got a ways to go still, so we have to do some swapping of some armor. 69 points. 69 armor is fine. 61 is okay. This is no good though. There's 71 there. 69, 25, 61. Thank you, Zalea. Man, I could do some better swords. I'd love a few arming swords. Okay, as a shield bearer, you can finally get, would you believe it, shield expert. Five, good. That's nice. That's nice. And... Plus four on resolve. I can't turn that down. Then at the next level, we'll probably make you. I don't know what type of weapon expert. Mace mastery, maybe. I really want some proper armor for Arnulf. A nice big two handed weapon. Right, lads, onward. We're not going that far. It'll be fine. Whoa. This is a few caravan hands, a caravan cart. Some young and an orc warrior. Should we get involved? Some raiders fighting some orcs. And another trading caravan. Nope. Let them fight it out. Those orcs are going to slaughter those raiders. It would have been tempting to get involved there and just let them fight it out until there's no survivors and then you just, well, you just mop up, mop up the orc survivors. This is a dangerous, dangerous world we're living in. Eight hundred crowns. Hell yeah. House affiliated missions are still way too difficult, unless it's a patrol. Green skins. Nope. Oh, beautiful. Three loads of tools. Cheap berries. I'll buy that for sure. Okay, what don't we need? Don't need all these bows and arrows. Don't need the clubs. Don't need that. Or the knives. Or that. We only need four shields, so let's hang on to those four. I think that's that. I could start collecting javelins. Let's take a look at that. Like, I mean, really, Hilder Hilderic, if he has the fatigue, he should be hanging on to javelins. And, like, he starts with javelins and then switches to the sword. Cool. 40? Yeah, why the hell not? 33 is crap, 39 is usable, 38, eh. okay, let's start collecting javelins and axes where we can. I mean, it's it's not going to be that often where we have a static engagement, but where we do, you know, why not do it that way, get a few extra throws off, and if even one hits, I think it's worth it, it's an extra bit of damage that you wouldn't have otherwise gotten. Still 
still got an infected wound. Okay. Oh, dude. Orcs, <laughs> Orcs are the bane of my existence. I'm pretty sure I've got it down now. With a good group of archers, you can handle them fairly reliably. Let's make sure everyone has bandages. Did we just go below the daily rate? We did. Let's go find some work. Know, let's start hitting these yellow cities. And then, as I've said before, once we have at least level 3 on everybody up front, so we just need another level on Gerhard. He's very close. And Geralt is even closer. Then we can start investigating those those uh, ruins. And that's where we start making some nice money. And if we're super lucky, get some famous armor. Yeah, what you got for us? Contract deliver some. Let's talk money. 250, I accept. Let's do it. Okay, team, I've been recording for an hour. Let's take a little break, and when we come back, we'll be guarding this caravan.